Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can set up non-inventory parts within the item list. A non-inventory part is used to create items that are bought and or sold, but that are not tracked as inventory parts. QuickBooks will track neither the quantity on hand nor the value of non-inventory part items. Like all items, you do create the non-inventory part items by first opening the item list. To then create a new item, click the item button in the lower left corner, and then select the new command. In the new item window that appears, you can then select non-inventory part from the type dropdown. The fields that appear in the new item window are similar to the ones shown when you create an inventory part item. So first enter a name for the part into the item name slash number box. If this item is to be a sub item of another part, then check the sub item off checkbox and then select the main non inventory part item underneath which the current item should be placed from the adjacent drop down. If needed, you can enter a part number into the manufacturer's part number field. Next, Enter a description of the part to display in invoices and sales receipts into the description field. You then enter the price of the item, when sold, into the price field. And you can set the tax code of the item. And assign the amount to an income account by using the account dropdown. Now for non-inventory parts which are purchased for specific customer jobs, you can check the checkbox for this item is used in assemblies or is purchased for a specific customer job. If checked, the fields available will be the same ones used when creating inventory part items. So in this case, you would enter the information for the purchasing side of the item into the fields shown in the purchase information section. You can then enter the information used for sales into the sales information group of fields. This allows you to then use the item in both purchase and sales transactions. Now once you have created the non-inventory part item, click the OK button to save the item into the item list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.